hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for stopping by today. Let's get that out of our face, shall we? And, uh, well, second day of late autumn. Winter is fast approaching. And I thought I would throw a quick layer of the ferts down. As most of these fields have only the plowed in, so they should pretty much get them ready. Now this one requires seeding, of course, but that's not going to happen for a couple of months. Oh, alrighty. I think I'm going to lay an extra one this way. So I do hope everybody's doing well today. It is the middle of the week here in beautiful sunny Powell River. We've had uh, quite an amazing fall here so far. It's starting to get a little cooler. I mean, nothing like the rest of the country, of course, but uh, beyond that, wow. It has been sunny day after sunny day after sunny day. So I'm pretty impressed. So I have today a rather unusual story for you guys. Um, unusual because you hear lots of these stories, but they're usually very negative. Whereas this is almost unbelievably positive. So, it has to do with customer service. So, yeah, you can imagine most of the time it's like, oh god. Well, how did you get screwed this time? Well, here's the deal. Uh, some of you may know from my recent video ramblings, um, when my rah-rah purchase of my steering wheel turned out to be just so much muck under the bridge, um, as I said, on the return thing, I happened to notice an advertising for a nice, uh, reasonably high-end HOTAS for about a quarter of the standard price. And that, of course, was the Logitech X56 Rhino. Um, so I thought, well, I'm getting 200 bucks back. This item is normally 400. They only want 100 for it. I really do want to learn how to play Elite Dangerous. I have uh, a half a dozen other very flight-oriented games. And, uh, if I actually believed Star Citizen was anything but a con, I would be interested in playing that as well. So I ordered this Logitech Hortas. Hotas. Hortas. <laughs> Hortas, here's a who. And uh, it arrived, and I was very impressed with the build quality. Uh, it has more buttons on it than the rest of my entire household put together. Um, you know, just a, an all-around skookum unit. I put the time in, I learned how to set it all up, and what I found, unfortunately, was that it had an issue with the rudder. Right? It has a twist throttle rudder on the stick. And the issue was, it was not centered to begin with. So, no matter how hard you tried, unless you set up a huge dead zone, um, like I did in Frontier Pilot Simulator, Unless you set up a huge dead zone, everything you tried to operate would have a slow turn to the right. So, not good. And you don't want to be sitting there with a bit of left pressure on the stick the whole time you're flying. That works fine for straight lines, but as soon as you get into anything where you need some maneuverability, you're right away dealing with that uh, rightward yaw. So, here's the story. I, uh... Whenever you receive an item from Amazon, they'll usually ask you to do a review, which I gladly do, because I know, just like video gaming and YouTube channels, a lot of people look to those ratings to decide whether they want to buy that unit or the competitor's unit for a very similar price and looks identical and yada yada yada. So, I will generally write these reviews. And in the, my review of this particular item, I wrote that I was, yes indeed, super, super impressed with all of it, and all of that happy, happy. And I also told them that, you know, I had that issue, where it seemed the rudder was just off right from the factory. And 
there was very little I could do to try and get it back to where it needed to be. So, you know, other than that, I mean, it was like a four star out of five review. You know, I, everything else was good. I liked the build quality. I liked the button layout. I liked the functionality. You know, the setup was easy, blah, 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 blah. Well, I kid you not, within half an hour, half an hour of posting that, like having it actually go up on on Amazon, I was contacted, not by the seller, not by Amazon, by Logitech themselves, um, and a service representative saying, hey, we see you're not 100% satisfied with your product. What can we do to help? All right, so I need to do 2, 14, and 7. And they sent me a list of things to try. You know, I mean, it was... It was one of these deals. I mean, I look at the list, and I know it's one of these, okay, here's our standard response, right? Um, so, go hard, right? And, and don't expect this to be anything but that standard response. Um, but I went through and I tried all the things, because, I mean, some of them were quite sensible. Um, some of them I'd already done because they were sensible, you know, like, don't plug it into a hub, plug it directly into the PC, and, you know, some of them were definitely, you know, this is our wrap sheet that we will give everyone, you know, to keep you sort of busy while we try to figure out what your issue is, you know, like, reinstalling the USB drivers on your computer. Now, I'm sure they're aware that probably myself, like most people, have enough items plugged into your USBs that if there was an issue, you'd have known about it. But anyway, I went through their list and I did what I thought was reasonably, uh, you know, not make work sort of stuff. And then I wrote back to them and I said, okay, I've tried everything and uh, it doesn't seem to work. I kid you not, again, within a half an hour, I had a letter in my mailbox from Logitech. And uh, all right, well, Unfortunate that didn't help you out. Oops. Um, here's what we want you to do. And this letter was the beginning of a very traumatic experience. Because let me explain. What they said was, all right, we want you to render the one you currently have so it is never usable again. Um... You know, cut the USB cables. No biggie, you can solder those back. Um, and if possible, to the point of even breaking the chips on the main boards. And, oh. uh, see, that is one problem. Sometimes the buttons on these 360 controllers are not, not terribly responsive when you gotta hit two at once. So half the time, instead of stopping the fertilizer, I jump off the tractor. Of course, that could be my old fingers not working the way they used to. So anyway, you have to render this thing completely inoperable, right? The joystick and the throttle, you have to take them apart, and then we want you to take pictures of this destroyed merchandise. Oh, for God's sake. Destroyed merchandise um, with a card with your name on it, your case number, and in at least one of the pictures, the serial number of the unit must be, you know, prominently displayed. And I thought, oh my god. You know. Uh, and there was warnings in there, you know, make sure that you've got your camera set to take straight JPEGs. You must be between certain file sizes, but you cannot alter the pictures. Right? If you alter the pictures, if we've seen, you know, if there's... That was my fault, I only pressed one button. Um, if we feel that there's been any alteration to the pictures, this could slow or even stop your claim. Well, of course, that's what you want to hear. I've now rendered this lovely item that I'm so looking forward to using into complete garbage, and now you're denying my claim. <laughs> so I thought, well, uh, this is pretty freaky. So I very, very carefully read the instructions then I took the two units to my kitchen table, I disassembled them, I broke, cut, 
smashed, did what I needed to do to the appropriate pieces, with still trying to keep certain things reasonably intact. You know, like it's one thing to cut wiring harnesses, it's completely another to, you know, destroy the item the wiring harnesses were hooked to. But anyway, uh, long story short, I took my beautiful hotas and turned it into a 10 inch high pile of parts mainly broken parts and then I arranged it all against the back of the box so they could read the numbers off the box they could read the serial number off the bottom of the the units because each unit has a serial number on the base and all of that happiness took my pictures wrote up my card included that in it and then I wrote them back I attached the pictures and I said okay there you go you know, that was a really traumatic experience. I hope you guys aren't screwing me on this. And again, within a half an hour. Like, we're talking this whole thing so far has been a day since I started to when I get these responses. So, again, within half an hour, I get uh, a letter from Logitech. Um, RE, your RMA of Rhino R56. It has been approved, the item has been put into shipping, and within the next 24 hours you should get a tracking number from us. You have a brand new unit on the way. I mean, it, it, maybe it's not going to get here as quick as Amazon's did, I don't know, I have no idea, maybe they're shipping it through Amazon. Um, I don't know, but bottom line, I have a brand new unit on the way. Um, I got confirmation of that this morning. This all took place yesterday. I got confirmation this morning that the unit was being shipped, and as soon as their shipper gave them a tracking number, within the next 24 hours, they would pass that number along to me. So, rather uh, an interesting, uh, interesting experience, to say the least. I mean, I love taking things apart, don't get me wrong. I'm every bit of boy. But, uh, let's get her filled up. But yeah, quite a, quite an experience. Now, the other thing that they ask you to do, and this is kind of odd and a little bit, yeah, a little bit grating on the nerves. You have to keep the destroyed item until your new one arrives, unless they inform you otherwise. Now, they didn't mention that. I, I don't know. I suppose I should read this morning's letter a little more closely. But they didn't mention that. So, I have this pile of goods sitting on my table still, awaiting their, uh, you know, their final judgment type thing, I guess. But as I said, they have told me that there is a new one on the way. So I thought, wow, that's, you know, that's a pretty neat thing. Especially considering... I never originally even wrote to Logitech to complain about this, right? It was strictly them reading my Amazon review and getting back to me. You know, the seller never got back to me. After reading the review, I guess they figured four stars good enough. You know, and it wasn't a slight against the sellers, of course, it was against the item. Right. The complaint was not that, you know, it arrived a month late or that it was broken from, you know, shipping or anything like that. It was strictly a faulty item. Yep, definitely need to do seven. So, what can I say? What an incredibly positive customer experience, you know? A little bit traumatic. And again, there's likely... I mean, for me, it wasn't an issue. Like I said, I love taking things apart. I am, at heart, a bit of a maker. You know, I build things from scratch. I take things apart. All of that goodness. So, for me, it wasn't an issue. And I have the tools. You know, another important thing. I mean, if you don't have the, the drivers that'll fit into the tiny holes and you don't have some Torx bits for one piece of it and that sort of thing, you'd have likely run into some real issues. Now, like I said, luckily enough, because I do like to do things like that, um, I have all the bits and pieces, right, and was able to do this. But it may well, 
uh, be a little bit more traumatic experience. Did that not... Didn't seem to do anything, did it? Alright, did I not have it turned on? I'm sure I did. Certainly doesn't seem to have done anything. Yeah, it's just not leaving anything on the field, so... <coughs> hmm. It definitely needs another layer. Doesn't seem to be ready for it, though. Let me just have a check of something here. Hmm. That's odd. Why is it not telling me that there's a crop involved here? I'm pretty sure I planted something on this field. No, it's telling me I haven't. It's also, uh, doesn't look like it's been planted, does it? It just looks, well, it's certainly not plowed. Hmm. Did I just cultivate this field? Is that all that's been done? Seven. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. It's the only one of my fields that I owned. I haven't seeded it yet either, apparently. Hmm. C2 says it's growing, but I don't think I planted anything there. I don't know. These, uh... Interesting. Very interesting. All right. So there's nothing planted there. Huh. Well, it's kind of weird. Now, according to this, field 14 could use some thirds. Now, I did plant 14. You can see crop growing on it from here. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's what we like to see. See, I have no idea how long this will take before I actually have the unit in hand. But, uh... All right. So far, it's been a pretty good experience. I guess there's no reason to think that they'd use some, you know, clown hat sort of delivery system. And, I mean, I've, I've been buying Logitech products literally for years, probably more than decades. Um, and I've never really had an issue with anything before. You know, I've been buying their keyboards and mice since I've been into buying keyboards and mice. And everything has lasted well. Um, you know, has worked right out of the box. I've just never really had issues. So this is the first time I've had any sort of, uh, you know, Congress with their uh, service department or any kind of uh, help department from Logitech. And as I said, it's uh, rather impressive. It would be more impressive if I could actually see here. Hmm. I find it a little bit difficult to figure out where we're going here, but that's all right. Oh, for heaven's sakes. There we go.
now let's keep the lines nice and close and hopefully most of it will get done. Or it'll be a series of stripes. <laughs> but I think this thing's got a good enough turning radius. We should be able to come back in close enough. I hope. Looks like it. I don't know. I really can't tell. The lighting is uh, a little too good. <laughs> With all the shadows from the trees. day of autumn today. I think this is uh, about as far through... No, I have made it to winter, haven't I? I was going to say, I think this is about as far through seasons as we've got. But I have done three-day seasons maps. And I've made it to winter. Because I do remember doing some snow plowage. Although it didn't affect or achieve much. <laughs> okay. And that, as they say, is that. So, now, okay, well, 14 is going to need one more before it's done. So, good, good. All right. Let's head on in here. It's just really strange. I was sure I had planted field uh, seven. But apparently not. Hmm. Oh well, so be it. I guess that's going to be our... Uh, I think everything else is planted, so I guess that's going to be our root crop field. Eh? Alrighty, that should do it. Let's set you down. Pop that, pop that, excellent. All right. Yeah, I still haven't managed to get fertilizer into that last one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, stupid hitbox. How are these coming? Wow. They've already produced a little bit. And they're still good on goodies. Nice. Alrighty, next up. Now I think all of our critters are good.
trailer. Excellent. And of course, then you get uh, the issue here. Oh, and thanks all of you for uh, putting up with my microphone test on the last episode. Some of it did come out very good, but it's, yeah, that weird flange effect whenever you get slightly away from the center of... All right, that's what I was hoping I would see there. Um, slightly away from the center of the mic. And for what it is, I'm way too close to uh, close to the mic. I should be able to have it considerably further away. <coughs> you know, and yet I did write directly to that company's service department and say, look, this is the issue I'm having. You know, even with your phantom power supply and all of that, it's very, very quiet unless I just about stuff it down my throat and if I turn my head even slightly while I'm speaking, I get a weird flanging effect. I haven't heard a word back from them. So <laughs> that's more like the customer service people are used to hearing about, i.e., you ain't getting none, son. So we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see. I, I don't, I mean, I don't expect that kind of, you know, response time and service that I got from Logitech, but hopefully I'll hear something from them, you know. Seems only somehow right. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. You can barely lift that E. <laughs> you see it slowly rock off the rear wheels. Oh well. We'll just go nice and easy with it. There we go. I mean, I don't want that much. I just uh, want to get that thing refilled. See how we do, shall we? Definitely have to. And I'm gonna try just for the heck of it. We'll come in from the other side. Maybe that's the deal. Circle around the back of it and come in. Because as like I said, I know I've filled it once. Obviously, we have product being produced, but I just couldn't get it to happen the last time. Boy, that is a tight squeeze. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm getting a tip way out here now. Ugh. It still says I to unload. No, it just will not unload. Well, we have back or green door. Will not. No, nope, no matter what I do, it will not unload. Totally the wrong way to where I want to be now. Come on. Oh yeah, of course you won't turn it at that angle anymore. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Come on. Not quite enough room to turn this damn thing. No. Come on. Uh. Thank you. Oh. Oh, great. I already. Yeah. I just cannot do this. It is not wanting to work at all. And all I want to do is back that thing up to that, but there's so little room back here. And by the time you get it to turn... There we go. Now we're in the right position. Even there. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. Now it was suggested that maybe that's for fertilizer. I don't remember putting fertilizer in it. See, it definitely works. It's not like there's some issue with the tip function. I can't 
can't tip that, I'm screwed. <laughs> Thanks to whoever suggested that. I just, I don't remember moving fertilizer over to this thing. I really don't. Wow. I believe it was Sooty Farmer that mentioned that. And, uh, if it was, bud, thanks very much, man. As I said, I hadn't recalled at all actually using fertilizer instead of manure. But I guess, since as I say, we obviously have, oh, I can't get over there. Obviously have production started. that uh, obviously I did something before. So there we go. Whew. I guess uh, that's really strange. Really strange. But again, it's not like uh, you know we're well aware there isn't much in the way of standards when it comes to mining, unfortunately. So there you go. I'm glad I got that solved though because I did want to get that thing back up and running. And we're also way over on the episode. So I'm going to uh, call it here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time, this has been Species 7 for Watts Farm. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.